Hey, hi guys, welcome to YouTube and welcome to C++ and C graphics tutorial. In this video, I will show you how you can draw or create a rectangle by using C language or C++ language. So let's get started. In previous video, I have shown you how you can draw a circle. Uh, if you haven't watched that video, I will suggest you please watch that video first. And in this video, things will be little complicated. It's very easy. Uh, just you have to just focus on it. Okay. Now, let me show you the results first. Let's compile and run this. And here you can see we got the uh, rectangle. Now, how we can how we create this? It's very easy. We use a rectangle function, rectangle function for creating the rectangle. We pass four values inside it. The first value is uh, stands for the first value. Here you can see we have passed four values. The first value stands for the uh, left, left, and the next value stands for the uh, top. And other value stands for the right and next value stand for the bottom so basically you can see it works in circular motion from left top right and bottom now let me show you in diagram how we write these values because this part is very tricky and um, complicated basically uh, now let me show you here you can see we have the paint and the canvas size is 300 by 300 as we have written in init window so we have created the same size of sheet in paint and we're gonna create this type of rectangle it's very easy so here you can see I uh, told you that we have four param parameters left top right and bottom so first value is for the uh, left then top then right then bottom now how we can find out the left value it's very easy um, uh, here you can see and from here my canvas starts basically from this edge and from this edge the value is in the x-axis here you can see in this side is a x-axis um, from this corner from left side uh, if I draw a line and touch the uh, side of this rectangle it lies ar in around 50 it lies around in 50 value so here you can see so I will just write 15 left side we got the value for the left side like this let me just write 50 here 50 now the next parameter is a uh, top uh, we're gonna do a same process uh, from top to uh, top line we're gonna make this kind of thing and the values here you can see in x-axis from 0 we have gone to 100 so the top value is a hundred now in case of a right this is the right side we are not going to come from this side or not going going to this side from here what we gonna do we gonna touch this line from the x axis starting from basically left hand side this this side so if i draw like this and touches this line the value lies between uh, around basically 250 or 240 so we got the value for this it is 240 and the same process goes for this bottom line we uh, don't go from uh, bottom to top or from this line to bottom we come from top uh, top of window to that bottom line to this line we come from here and this line uh, according to y axis lies between 200 so the value is 200 and now these values we just put in this on uh, this sheet and we got the results let's create a custom uh, shape now custom shape by using this uh, rectangle function now th then you can uh, then i will be sure that you understand the concept now let's create this kind of shape it, it will be easy so we what we have learned first we go to left from left here you can see see from zero uh, from zero to here we got the value it's around i think it's around 60 it's 60 and then we go to top 
from top to here this line it's i think around uh, according to y-axis it's also 60 and now we need to check this line the right line and from here to here it's around uh, 160 uh, 160 it's 160 or 170 i think i will take this as 160 for the right and and this is the bottom uh, side and from top to the bottom line uh, according to y axis it's around 240 i think 240 you can see the numbers it lies between 250 and 200 I, i'm choosing this as a 240 and now just put these values into code the first value is 60 the second is 60 then 160 and 240 let's put this here the first value was the 60 the second value was the 60 for the top next was the 150 and then the 240 and let me check these values and that's it now execute compile and run and i'm sure we're gonna get the same result as we have in the paint So here you can see we got the result and in next videos we're gonna learn uh, how we can fill colors and other stuff so please watch the next videos also thank you so much or just check out the playlist thank you so much for watching bye take care